some upperclassmen surrounding him that are very talented. Keyshawn Vaughn set a Texas Bowl record the last time he was in a game, and he yanks off a game. Created a monster shuffle up front. Here's the tight end, Jared Pinkney. Pinkney trying to fight his way through, and he is swarmed immediately. J.R. Reed, maybe the most. Tossed to Vaughn, needing three. And he got it, I believe. Aziz Ojalon. And this is Vaughn. Spun his way free for just two. Ojalari, the red shirt. He lit it up. Here's Vaughn out of the backfield. And Vaughn, dragging dudes with him, takes it to the 40 for a gain of eight. Take Crowd. Neal drops, now steps up, and gets taken down from behind. Nolan Smith. Here's Kalijah Lipscomb, reverses field, and tries to get back up against this Georgia defense on the reception from Riley. And Vaughn gets blasted, but another positive carry. This shows pressure from the edge. They lay off. Neal's going to try to take off with it. Turf Monster got him, and then Tate Crowder cleaned it up. No gain. The tight end shifted to the left. Another less than perfect snap. Justin Shelton Mosley, the Harvard transfer, has got a first down on the reverse. And Vandy now rolling the dice, and it's paying off. Got to start going to misdirection, unbalanced. Got to find a way to get things going in the positive direction. Neal chased, fired a bullet incomplete. Tied third and 31. Four-man rush, quick release to the exterior. And just as Shelton Mosley for this team at this point. Deshaun Vaughn. Able to pick up a couple. Jamari Wakefield in his place. Another high snap. And they swing it out to Peak. Tight end is able to pull his way forward, and they'll be just short. Next Saturday, we'll have some can't miss. I got to get a safety helping on Pinkney again. Neal looking to the left away from him. Pinkney all alone. Neal's going to scramble. And Neal, short of the marker, ends up all the way to the wall. And late hit will bring multiple from the edge with Neal under center. Double pass. Quick hitter to the outside. They'll let it go. Cam Johnson to the end zone. Incomplete. And there's another flag on Georgia. Spiral, but. Tyson Campbell, if he just turns his head here, oh, that's so close. Receiver. If he turns his head there, he's second and ten. And they'll run it to the near side with Keyshawn Vaughn. And Vaughn forced to die. He's going to keep it again. Pinkney with a nice seal on the edge. And then a flag afterwards. Pinkney was trying. Holding number 80 on the offense. Of LeCount's shoulder and pulls him down. He's okay right there. They're not going to call that, but right here. As LeCount starts to. And he whips it to the edge. That's complete to Keyshawn Vaughn. And it'll gain some ground, but they'll be looking at second. At the top of your screen on that side. Neal keeps it again. The hesitation doesn't work. No gain. Tyler Clark there. Let me. On the road at home for Vandy. Neal with some space. And he tried to fit it into Cam Johnson. They'll say complete. For five yards and get some momentum going. Vandy moved the ball well the last time. There it is. And a move with Keyshawn Vaughn. Vaughn had three runs of 60. Neal fires and he's got a completion. The C.J. Bowler, first time they've gone to Bowler. Gain of nine. This was good. But Riley Neal was better. Pressure coming from the edge. Neal has to scramble again. He's been on the run all night. I don't want to live in your neighborhood. Riley Neal with the sneak. Another time. A drill to close the half. Not just his feet wet. He's been underwater. Oh, yeah. He's there again and able to get it away to Keyshawn Vaughn. And Vaughn gets taken down maybe by a face mask. That'll tack out a few more. Rich by competition to Neal. Caught by C.J. Buller as he went down. Sounds like you're Vandy. Whoa, way offside. Take a shot. Replay. Lobs it down the sideline. And incomplete. He was trying to find C.J. 
Both pointed in George's direction. Bulldogs push five on the line. Neal on the bootleg. A little bit behind his receiver and incomplete. To Georgia loaded the box. Vandy still ran. And Keyshawn Vaughn showing power to pick up a Vanderbilt. Contact last year. He's tough to bring down. I mean, he, he's not huge from a stature perspective, but he is built like a brick house. Neal unloads, sideline shot, way too much, and the coverage came from. Another wild snap, Vaughn looking for a hole, and he won't find it. Tyler Clark. Pressure coming from the safety spot, and a pass sails high. That time the coverage came from tight. Riley Neal. Finds Kalijah Lips. Eric Stokes brings him down immediately. It's Jay Wyatt and Jordan Davis. Both 300 pounders anchor that line as of now. And Keyshawn Vaughn finds two. Wyatt, the junior from Decatur. Georgia loaded up one side. They drop eight. And that one's incomplete. Cole, you're down there. How loud it Vandy scored on each of their last two possessions in the second quarter with a couple of field goals. And they will get nothing on that run by Keyshawn Vaughn. Second and long for Riley Neal. Batted away. That time. Silent count at home. Neal out of the backfield to Jamari Wakefield. And Wakefield's able to find one a national championship. Thanks to Mac Brown returning to the game. And thanks to Les Miles coming back in. Kansas on second and seven Vaughn hesitates and had nowhere to go his line can't hear him Neil set jumped inside the five that brought the house they flush the quarterback again incomplete with coverage on the back end by Richard LeCount Looked like they gave him time then, but coverage was too good. And Neal will flick it out of bounds. Let's flick it back to the studio with Matt Berry. Georgia brings three, and Neal misses for C.J. Bowler. <laughs> the things an offensive lineman will talk you into. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two yards on the right side. I, Cole told me here, and they walk two and a half blocks from the opposite direction to get to the stadium. Keyshawn Vaughn finally gets taken down. Let's take it to Matt Berry. All right, thank you so much. Pass completed to the edge, and it'll be a yard. Just would there be a coaching vacancy there, but Pat Forty had an article a couple weeks ago that they could have an AD vacancy there. And if they did.